Hey YouTube, this is Eddie and Donnie here. Um, I'm gonna be doing a little quick video of my um, my recent pickups that I've gotten. Actually, most of them I've gotten today and yesterday. It's been pretty slow, but I've got um, maybe five or six things here that I'll go over and show you guys. Um, haven't made a video in a, about a week or so. So anyway, here goes. All right, the first thing I picked up at a Goodwill was this. And the lighting in here sucks. Hold on. Um, was this Sonic Chaos game? It was two bucks. I don't know if you can see that. The lighting in here really sucks. Um, and then the next thing I picked up, and I've never seen one of these, so it was kind of cool. Let me try shutting this. Hold on. Let's see how that does. Okay, the next thing I picked up was this Game Genie. It was um, four bucks. I've never seen one of these for the Game Gear. This is for the Game Gear. And two cool things about this one is there was a game stuck in there. Ah, it's hard to get out. But I've already got this game. It's Sonic 2 for the Game Gear. And that came with it. It was in there and they didn't even say anything. And the next cool thing was this. Um, it had actually had the little book with it still inside the little compartment here so that was kind of cool um, and like I said it was four bucks I haven't tested it out yet to see if it worked or anything but like I said I've never seen one of these and I looked on eBay for them and they have a few of them they're like 20 bucks and the ones that I seen on there didn't even have the um, little book with it there's like one that I seen with the book and it was like 20 and then all the other ones without the book were 20 so I don't know so like I said, it was like, it was four bucks, so that's pretty good deal. Um, and then the next thing I, I got, I went to Toys R Us, and I picked up these two games. Um, they were five dollars each. Um, I forget who it was. It's somebody on YouTube. I was watching their videos, and they said that Toys R Us had a bunch of games in their bin marked down to five bucks. So I finally got around to heading out that way, and I, you know, went to Toys R Us, and they had quite a few of them actually, but I picked up two. I'm gonna go back either today or tomorrow and pick up some more. Um, the first one is this um, Neo Geo Battle um, Collagium. Um, it's a fighting game. I've never played it, but it looks kind of cool. I probably won't even open it. I'll probably leave it sealed. Um, I'll probably just end up leaving it sealed, but it says regularly. Um, originally it was $14.99, so. It was marked down to five bucks, so that's that's really cool. And the next one is King, King of Fighters um, 10, 11. That's King of Fighters 11. The same thing, it was five bucks originally, uh, 15, so that's pretty cool. King of Fighters is a really awesome game. Um, but most likely, like I said, I probably won't open these just because they're sealed and they were so cheap. I mean, if I want them, I'll go pick up another copy and play them like that. So I found those at Toys R Us. And the Toys R Us is not too close to me, so I headed out that way and I went to a thrift store that's right by there that I normally don't go to. Um, and I found this. It's a, um, oh shit, my mind went blank. It's an iPod. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, it does work and it was only 10 bucks for this thing it didn't have a little charger thing to go with it but i had one because i've got one of the um the ipod touches and it works just fine for this so i mean 10 bucks for an ipod it's the older nano but it's it's still cool i mean 10 bucks i'll use that like if i go to the gym or whatever so the next really really cool thing i found by me um, I found it yesterday, and then I went back today, and in their little, I'll give you a little clue, in their little bin of like cords and controllers and stuff like that, I found this in it, and the day before I had bought something and this wasn't with it, so I got really extremely lucky when I found this, because I looked on eBay trying to find it last night, and just for this, it was like 30 bucks because it's you know it needs to go with the other thing that I'm about to show you 
So I got really lucky, and this was um, 50 cents. But, you know, it's supposed to go with that, I guess. Whenever they do this stuff, it got separated, or I don't know what the deal was. They're backwards. But anyway, I found, you can see it, this um, Philips. It is a um, portable DVD player. So it's really cool. Um, the woman said that it didn't work. It was in their little display case. She said it didn't work, but they was just selling it to see if you know somebody could fix it. So I'm like, you know, the price is right, I buy it. So I asked her how much it was, and she said five bucks. So I'm like, well, five bucks, five bucks, I'll buy it. You know, try to find the cord for it on eBay or just look around, maybe go to Radio Shack or whatever. Well, anyway, I brought it home. It didn't work, like she said. I thought maybe because the battery was dead or whatever. So I, you know, I looked around on eBay trying to find the cord and everything. Couldn't find it. So like I said, today I went to the thrift store and I found it. Brought it back home, plugged it in. It didn't work still. So I was thinking maybe it was the battery. So I took the battery out, which it slides out right here. And I cleaned these little connectors because they looked a little bit corroded. Plugged it back in, and the thing works perfect. I charged it up completely. Um, I can't get it back together. But anyway, I charged it up completely, and it played perfect. I mean, I watched two movies before the battery started going dead. So, I mean, the battery lasted, what, probably like four hours. So what I want to do is, it has like these little audio video in and out right there I'm gonna go to Radio Shack and try to find a connector to go with this because I've got this PS2 Slim right there that I'm gonna hook up to um, I'm gonna actually hook this up to that so it'll be portable <laughs> like whenever I go out of town or um, for school or anything like that you know, I'll have this that, you know, I can play, you know, my PS2 games or um, really anything um, on it. My GameCube, um, Super Nintendo, anything that has the audio video, you know, which is basically pretty much anything nowadays. Um, even the PS3, I could probably hook up to that if I didn't use the HDMI because obviously this doesn't have an HDMI. Um, but yeah, that was five bucks, man. That was like awesome. I was like really freaking excited when I, um, when I got that and brought it home and, you know, it didn't work, but, you know, like I said, I don't know, here's a little better view of it. I'm like really excited for this. I mean, I know it's stupid, but it's pretty cool. I mean, it's the piano white finish. Um, the thing is like perfect. I mean, it worked. So, I don't know, they must have got the cords, you know, mixed up or whatever, but that is that. But yeah, she must have found something. What'd you find? What are you eating? Anyway, um, but yeah, this. And then the other day, I don't know, I'm just trying to kill a little time here and make the video a little bit longer. I found this at the one of the Goodwills. It was brand new. I guess it came from Target. Or something but it's got like it's a CD organizer that you can put CDs into um, it was 95 cents so I think I'm gonna take all my loose games that I have in there in there um, and some up there I've got quite a few of them I'm gonna um, put those in there and kind of organize them a little bit but anyway this is 81 Donnie write me subscribe let me know what you guys think um, yeah, I guess that's it. Let me know. Thanks, guys.